Welcome back guys, it's Kids Coding Playground and today we're back for another video on Scratch. So in this video we will be talking making a Beyblade Burst game and yes this was uh commented by one of our uh subscribers. So yeah, let's just jump right into it. So there's a player one which is you and then there's AI which is the yellow Beyblade and you're the uh, pink labeling and then so if you click it the background changes colors to make the game more interesting and um, you can uh, as you can see AI does damage and he'll attack you once in a while and then you will lose your HP up there and then you can also attack AI and then you can uh, do some damage it's, so I'm gonna let him so if you kill the AI, that means you, uh, you get the, uh, you win. So you won, and if the AI kills you, you lose. But uh, AI is a little dumb and always moves around, and so we make it so then it moves around. It doesn't always hit you. So AI does more damage. So it does eight, I think eight to five damage or so. So, and then the regular Beyblade does like one damage, five to one. So yeah, sometimes it'll hit you and sometimes it won't to make it more random. So, so like, it won't hit me and like sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. So, 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 so. Yeah, you get the point. Uh, so I, we have a shout out and it's, Deepa P, he said, or she said, can you make a Beyblade game, please? And then we replied. So, yeah, uh, so this is your Beyblade game. I know that comment was like three weeks ago, but we finally checked some comments later. And then some dude named D World decided to, um, uh, wanted us to shout out. So she is, uh, so you can check out her, uh, Scratch. And then, yeah, so these are all our shout outs for today. So, we're gonna um, get everything prepared. So, let's get everything done. This is a backdrop. For some reason, I used light blue. No one knows why. Mm, I don't know why either. So, there we go. We don't even need this scratch cap. Goodbye. And um, let's, let's center this. In the center, yeah. So, and then we need this the outline, so it's like this. So, right click shift, and then you move it in the middle, and then you get the two lines right through it. Oh, okay, oopsies, I gotta hold the shift. It isn't pr uh, proportion because I didn't move it in the middle yet, but look, I can put this right in the middle please there we go it's really hard to see the line the, there we go we finished our beyblade stadium i don't play beyblade so this is what i watched a youtube video and it looked like this looks like the stadium so anyways let's continue so we have to put our backpack things so you can download from our google drive links in the description so we have the you lose, you win sprite, the Beyblade, the AI, and the player. So if you do not know how to do this, you can go to our, my project that I share and export it. So you can get the sprites on your, for your own. So export, yeah, that button. So yeah, anyways, I'm going to get started on coding player. So... Let's code player. So in the beginning, when the green flag is clicked, it will set player one to a hundred. So you have a hundred HP. And it'll go to player one. Negative 160. I do have coordinates. I just want to do this so then they're on the opposite sides of the stadium. So yeah, just better. And then go forever. 
turn 15 degrees so it's always spinning always spinning so yeah and then when the green flag is clicked it'll go forever and if then if then the mouse is down which means that if it's clicked mouse down where's that button there it is so if then mouse down then glide 0 0.1 seconds to mouse pointer so glide to your mouse once you click and now we need a if then statement and put it in here and if touching AI then broadcast bounce and wait so yeah bouncing bounce so we have that finished and now when I receive bounce I'll start this sound called hit I downloaded this you can download this from us too so yeah so, uh, it'll start sound hit move negative 30 steps so it'll bounce back like go like like if you hit it that means it would go like bam and it'll like if this hits this it'll go like, so yeah that's basically what it is and we have a wait point one second oopsie and then it'll move negative another negative 30 steps So let's see. Yes, you have done that. So, oopsies. Yes, yeah, so look, it's working. So it bounce in a random position because yeah, you know that's how it is. So yeah, now we're gonna work, still work on. Now we're gonna work on AI. So the AI has a decent amount of code so first we're gonna for the ai we're gonna go when the green flag is clicked i'll set the variable ai so we're gonna make a variable ai to 100 of course oh it's too zoomed down zoom and go to 0 0.75 And now we have to go forever and it'll turn, you know, like any other Beyblade. Well, I don't play Beyblades, so sometimes it turns, yeah, you know, it'll turn like the other one. And now when I receive bounce, you know, first we have to do this because it's a green flag. So when the green flag is clicked, it'll go forever. Wait, pick random amount of seconds. So I'm going to get this real quick. Wait, well, pick random one to two seconds, and it will go like bang and start attacking them. So you need an if then else statement here. If then else, if then else, the pick random is equal to one. Get okay, pick random. Pick random from one to two, and it will glide 0 0.1 seconds to a random position. So sometimes it will attack it, sometimes it won't, like a real Beyblade in real life. So yeah, glide 0 0.1 seconds to a random position. And you need an else, and then you put the else and 0, 0.0 seconds to the player this time. And now, we have broadcast bounce a new message called bounce two. So that's that's what the AI does to damage to the player, and the player attacks it with bounce. So now we have to add this. So when the when when I receive bounce, it'll move back thirty steps. It will wait 0 0.01 seconds, so that's a fraction of 
a hundred and it will move go back negative 30 steps where is that yeah okay I'll just duplicate this it will also change AI HP by pick random negative five to one so the Beyblade can do up to five damage or up or down to one damage and this now we have to do bounce two then it will move negative 20 steps okay I'll just get this uh so since this is the same as this one I'm just gonna do this I mean negative minus 30 is the same thing as minus 20 basically and now the player we're going back to the player bounce two. my original project had 0 0.01 but I'm just gonna change this to 0 0.1 and this to 0 0.1 because I feel like the weight is better like that and when I receive bounce two, same thing basically it'll start sound hit it will wait 0 0.1 seconds and it'll set player one Oh, change player one, sorry. And it will change player one by pick random negative eight to negative four. So the AI is slightly stronger than the, um, you can deal more damage than the player itself. And now it's time for the you lose and you win sprite. So you win. Um, so when the green flag is clicked, so this is how you make a you lose you wins right because some people don't know so first you have to paint a costume you got the text you go switch it to handwriting if you want to and you can write whatever you want like you can write you win and there you can place it in the middle and make it gigantic that's how you make a you win you lose sprite and just center it so that's how you do it and so I now I'm gonna start coding the you win you lose sprite so when the green flag is clicked it will go to x0 y0 in the middle directly and then it will hide wait one second it'll go forever so you gotta wait one second because um, it's a little delay for like if you want to set for everything to set up the HP and everything so that's why you need to wait one second so that's really important so please do not miss this part so I'll go forever and I'll go or if it's touch if player HP is equal to or less than zero I mean zero is greater than the player HP player one I really like this game it's pretty fun and then it'll show and it'll switch costume to costume two now stop all right there and now we got to duplicate that and just tw tweak it a little bit you know put it under the if then loop you know how to do this by now probably you need the AI and then AI and then it'll show so yeah, yeah yeah you get the point and then now for the final touch the backdrop changing color and all that jazz which makes the enhances the project so when the, the green flag is clap, clicked it'll set volume to 25% well you can make it a hundred percent but I did 25% because I wanted you guys to hear my voice during the demo. So it will go forever and it'll play a sound called Trap Beat. So Trap Beat. And now when the green flag is clicked, it will clear all graphic effects. And then it'll start changing color. The board will start changing color because it's a magical board. And then it will change color effect by one. So it will slowly change color. 
Let's do this. Oh yeah, and plus the uh, Lizzie. I lost, as you can see. Ooh, I missed. I made a mistake, so this, I, <laughs> I noticed that this is costume one. So if you win, it's costume one. If you lose, it's costume two. And both of them were costume two, so that's what. So I just changed it. And yeah. So now time for the real demo. Bam. I'm beating up AI. AI does a lot of massive damage, but I can, since the AI is not as smart as the human brain, you can beat the AI. Sorry, but I got it backwards, and if the player HP is zero, then of course it's going to say you lose. And if the AI's health is zero, then of course it's going to say you win. So now it's time for the real demo. So yeah, I'm just going to beat up AI without even losing any HP. No, I didn't lose any HP. Metal. Get him from far away. So it says you win, see? Okay, great. And if the AI kills you, that means you lose. So I'm going to show you that. So look, I just changed his HP to 10 and I'll show you. And then the AI will kill him. So look, it says you lose. So that's basically the concept of the game. And um, yeah. So, please like, share, subscribe, and comment in the comment section below. I mean, like, basically, what else do you want? Because we can make those games uh, as you say it. So, anyways, see you guys next time.